Bergdorf Goodman. Bergdorf Goodman. It's the best store in the world. I don't think you would find one designer that would ever say, it's not part of my dream to be a Bergdorf. It's just one of those things that you fantasize about. If your clothes are not at that place, then they have no future. There's no future for those clothes. Sorry. So glamorous. Oh my God, everything that implies beauty, excitement. It's such a part of New York. It's just the epitome of the city. Being able to shop at Bergdorf Goodman is an aphrodisiac. Hmm. You walk in there and there's three people being like, hi. Part of why you come to see Betty is that she knows what she's doing. This is a very tricky business. She's the peak of personal shoppers. You know, there's a customer who's trying something, she's like, oh, that's terrible, really terrible, but buy it because it's not as terrible as what you came in wearing. What do you think you'd be doing if you weren't doing this? Drinking. People get so enthralled with this store and what it means to so many of them. It's a direct window into the American consumer. These windows have been a form of fine installation art, and David does that on a daily basis. I want the windows to almost be perceived as hallucinations. A million and a half pair of eyes a week see these windows. You enter a palace on Fifth Avenue. Stores like this are necessary for the American dream. The reality is that Bergdorf's has the most discerning clientele in the world. Decades and decades of accumulated history. Every nook and every cranny is a story. It really is like the theater. I did not think of saying, I want my ashes scattered at Macy's or Bloomingdale's. Bergdorf was the only one that worked.